Good morning. I'm glad to have you back again for another story with Miss Chante. And today we're going to read Stone Soup. And this one is retold by Heather Forrest and it's illustrated by Susan Grabber. Stone Soup is an old story that has been told and retold many, many times. So we're going to do this version of it today. Here's a little piece from the author's note. Stone Soup is a popular European folktale that's been told and retold for centuries. In the French version, the travelers were cast as soldiers, and the town folks were fearful of being generous because of the ravaging war. In Switzerland, the story features tramps who teaches a stringy old lady generosity by using a nail to start. A scrumptious nail broth. In the Russian version, an axe serves as the soup starter. Everywhere the tale is told, the plot ends with the optimistic realization that when each person makes a small contribution, a collective impact can be huge. This contemporary version of stone soup takes place in a village located anywhere that people learn about pleasures of sharing. And during this day and time, this is a really good story because of what all we're going through. So here is Stone Soup. There was once a comfortable little village nestled in the mountains. The people who lived there had more than enough to keep themselves content. One day, two travelers came along. Their coats were tattered and their hats were torn and their dusty shoes had holes in their soles. Hungry and tired, one traveler said to the other, Surely someone can spare a bit of food. They knocked boldly on a door. It cracked open, and a woman asked, What do you want? Please, said one of the travelers. We are hungry. Do you care? Will you share? Do you have any food? The woman squinted her eyes and tartly replied, No! And she quickly slammed the door shut. The travelers walked a little further down the road and knocked on another door. A little young boy answered. His chocolate brown eyes were sweet. Good day, he said shyly. What do you want? Please, said the travelers. We are hungry. Do you care? Will you share? Do you have any food? And the boy replied, There is no food here, and closed the door. The travelers wandered wearily through the village, knocking on every door, but everywhere they heard, I don't care. I won't share. There is no food. And they sat to rest beside the well. One traveler sighed. He clenched his empty belly and said, If there is really no food in this elegant little village, then the people who live here are in greater need than we are. We should make them our magic soup. And the two travelers climbed up on the edge of the well and shouted, we are master cooks, and if anyone in this town has a big black pot, we will make the most delicious soup anyone has ever tasted. And the door slowly opened, and a round man emerged, carrying a gigantic black pot. I love to eat, he said. Here's a pot. Let me see what the two master cooks can do with it. Watch and see, one of the travelers said with glee. The travelers filled the pot with cold water and built a fire. Soon the flames licked the sides of the pot and bellowed of steam rose into the air. C curious people began to gather. What is happening? The town folks asked. We're making an unusual soup, said one of the travelers. It requires 
special magic ingredients. I am certain we can find it in this town. All the eyes in the crowd watched as one of the travelers reached down and picked up an ordinary stone. He tossed it into the pot with a splash. We're making stone soup, he said. It will be nutritious, delicious, incredible, edible. But it would taste even better, he paused and sighed. If only we had a carrot. Where would we find a carrot in this town? The other traveler asked. We knocked on every door, everywhere we heard. We don't care. We won't share. There is no food. And then perhaps we cannot make this delicious soup after all. They both announced with a sad shrug of the shoulders and began to turn away. The child timidly raised his hand and said, Wait! I might have a small carrot. <gasps> Excellent, shouted the travelers. Bring what you've got. Put it in the pot. We're making stone soup. This magical soup that will taste even better if we had a potato. They added a deep voice in the back of the crowd called out. I have a potato. Wonderful, shouted the travelers. Bring what you've got and put it in the pot. We're making stone soup. It would taste better still, they said, if we had just a few more ingredients. Perhaps, said one of the villagers, I could bring green beans. Well, said another, if you're going to bring green beans, I'll bring kettle of corn, kernel of corn. I should not be outdone, said another. I'll bring egg noodles. One by one, voices announced, I'll bring a slice of celery. I'll bring a pinch of pepper. I can bring a spit sprig of parsley. <coughs> I might have a tiny turnip. Well, what are you waiting for, called the travelers. Bring what you've got. Put it in the pot. We're making stone soup. So they've added potatoes and mushrooms and turnips and parsley, green beans and corn and carrots and peppers. Everyone in the crowd ran home to bring one small thing to put in the pot. Food flew through the air and landed with splashes in growing soup. Soon the huge pot was full and simmering. A wonderful smell drifted through the air. The smell was so tempting. People brought out bowls, spoons, chairs, tables. They placed hearty loaves of bread, chunks of cheese, and bowls of fruit on the tablecloth. Everyone came to taste the soup and marveled at the flavor. It's amazing, said one lady. These two travels made such a delicious stone soup. Soup out of stone. Out of a stone, said the travelers with a grin. And magical ingredients. Sharing. And as the travelers left the town, they said to everyone, If everyone ever wants to make this soup again, just remember the recipe. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot, every bit counts, from the biggest to the least. Together we can celebrate a stone soup feast. And in the back of the book, there is a recipe for you to make stone soup at home. And it's a one large stock pot with a group of friends, one stone the size of an egg, two quarts of water, one quart of tomato juice, several carrots, an onion, a couple of potatoes, a stalk of celery, a cup of peas, a cup of corn, a cup of tomato, a 
bunch of green beans, small pieces of broccoli, small pieces of cauliflower, quarter cup of uncooked pasta, and a tablespoon of salt, and a quarter tablespoon of pepper, and a loaf of bread, and a lot of sharing. Or anything else you've got in, in your pantry. Anybody can make stone soup. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.